Hey guys, Adam Mega AC is Radical here, and thank you for checking out this episode of the VCR Podcast. For more content, you can visit our Instagram at vcr.podcast. If you are looking for a video version of this podcast, you can visit my YouTube channel at CS Radical. And if you are coming from the YouTube channel looking for an audio version of the podcast, you can check us out at anchor.fm slash VCR Podcast for all available platforms. Thanks for checking us out, guys, and let's get on with the show. You have entered the realm of the VCR Podcast with your host, Vish. They're just bastardizing our childhood and the classics. Chris. Nintendo so, dogs drove me. It's what makes me want to hurt people. Radical. People in general still bitch about everything. Yeah. It still doesn't change. Let the podcast begin. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the VCR Podcast, the only podcast that predates itself from the moment the title is spoken. Adam McKay, CS Radical here. I got Vish and Chris with me. No president with us, at least at the time being. He may be here later, as you know, this is a live show that's not a live show. He is currently doing some important affairs in the city of St. Catharines. I believe he might just be trying to have a presidential entrance. You're just saying affairs, and I'm thinking, what, what intern is he sleeping with? <laughs> Listen, this is a stormy situation, and we should just leave it alone right now. <laughs> nah. Stormy situation. So this is actually I see what you did there. the first episode of the decade and the year. I mean... Yeah, technically no didn't we do the we did the 2019 episode in yeah. 2020 did we yeah yes, we got man. together in already in january technically this is the first one that has to do with this decade okay yes. so scratch what i said this is the second episode of the decade it absolutely is this is why i'm the host <laughs> We're i'm just here yeah you're just chris <laughs> i've got if... Jin. you're just chris that's i that... i hope everyone has fun just like the super bowl we should give out like just <laughs> there's a little great metals. pie chart uh, that came out from the from now that the Super Bowl is, or it's like people cheering for in the Super Bowl, and there's just a tiny sliver for the Chiefs, a tiny sliver for the 49ers, and the entire thing is people just happy at not the Patriots this year. Yes, <laughs> that's literally it right now. I'm like, that's fantastic. I can't lie, I didn't even know who was playing in the Super Bowl until this I didn't very either, moment. I didn't either until I saw the pie charts. <laughs> <laughs> I wa- like the first round of the NFL playoffs were. Incredible! Like it was insanely. That's what I heard from the radio stations. That the first packed. It the first, was the first week very, was like really good, and then the whole the games for the second. It week was an absolute, of, mis- like the such a insane blowout that you got so bored, and you're like thinking, oh, they got this, they can, it can happen, it can happen, it, and it's like, no, it's not happening. Yeah. Like I know everyone's not everyone's happy about it, but. These guys aren't Tom Brady. They're it's, not going to be. They're not down and able to come back. They're down and out. Yeah. Tom Brady's the only one who can do that. But, but I think football we, aside. Yes, I think <laughs> since none, like pretty much Loose none ball? of us are football fans. I mean, you're a Cowboys YouTube. fan, but that doesn't really count for football. Even sometimes, I even question if I even want to be a. I'm a NFL Cowboys fan. cheerleader fan. I think yes, that, yes. that so are they, most people. I, we can they agree have with that. probably the best cheerleaders in the league. No, we can agree with that. Actually, there's an Instagram account, Cowboys Hot Fans. Okay, it's, hang it's on. Like, I'm going to go to the bathroom real right, quick we, and we, take we, my we, phone. We need to push this train back on the tracks quick. So, <laughs> so 2020. Yeah. And the Super the Bowl. The year of the Super week. Bowl. <laughs> I will fucking smack both of you. <laughs> I have two hands and uh, two faces. You can't Adam me. has threatened assault. Uh, uh, oh, let's check it off the bingo on, card. We have it on camera and on podcast and on Instagram. Let's check it off the bingo card. That makes sense to me. Oh my god, is this the year of the Adam bingo card? The radical card? I mean, there might be a radical card, oh. but the the Vish card is going to be five times yeah. bigger. R A I C A L R. We could make it cool. Adam acted radical. Ooh, checkbox. No. Chris so, drank gin. So Radical rage. 2020. 2020! <laughs> God damn it, Adam. So let's this talk is about... 2020. Oh my God. <laughs> I should know better than to even try to get things back on top because I know I have to at least I said this is 2020. Two Just, more I took the show okay, 2020. So is the Avengers was, game going to come out on time or no? Because I don't think it is. Uh, considering how many games have been delayed in the last two weeks, my conscience tells me uh yes i, I think it'll still come out in 2020 because it was pushed back to what september well here well martin you know, the avengers has always been announced for that date i think no i thought it was uh, God uh, may this it was year. may yeah it was a, oh yeah and then no, it got yes. pushed back to september it was originally well, then in gonna which case I don't and i think it was originally supposed to be like even earlier and it got pushed to may and then got pushed again to september all i know is i'm mad because i booked time off for cyberpunk and now i just have 
five day weekend for no reason. Uh, Adam, when's you could your try week off? going on a thing called a vacation. Cyberpunk. Uh, it's not. You happening. could move your vacation. Well, it's already put in. So I don't. I don't care. I still have like a shit ton of more days, so I'll just True. book two more days off in September for. <laughs> I wonder if and Doom then Eternal Cyberpunk gets delayed till 2021, and then I'm just gonna fucking cry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we uh, come watch? Because I think that would be no hilarious. No, no. Okay. He cries alone. It's his alone time. Fair enough. That's just, that's funny. I don't cry. I'm just alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been stupid though. Like the last, even this entire month has just basically been all the companies realizing, oh shit, we need more time. Yeah. To be entirely like honest. Every game. If when there's delays, I don't think it was a bad thing. I think it's like, hey, this we should actually do this properly. Let's take some time. Yeah. And it depends because well, there are some games that get delayed, and you're like, oh, that's not a good sign. Like Duke Nukem Forever or what? Final <laughs> Fantasy 15. Yeah, it gets to a point where you're like, okay, there's actually something wrong. Well, there's, there's a difference between a delay and is this happening? It only takes out? a couple of years to make a game, maybe well, a few. That's, uh, like, Once it takes 15 years, we're like, all right. This is reminding me of going. what's happened with New Mutants right now. Like, apparently it has a solid release date and everything. But it's just like, I don't even think they should bother with it. I think you should just, mm-hmm. like, shelve it or just straight to Disney Plus because. That'd be cool, putting it on... Well, I don't know if they'd put it on Disney... Yeah, maybe they would. Because it's kind of like... It's got a horror feel to it, right? So I don't know if they It do. does, but it's like a PG horror. It's not like... Still ain't watching e- it. Evil Dead. <laughs> There's gonna be jump scares. Fuck that shit. I don't know if I want to watch it, because, like... To me, I don't want that to be the last X-Men thing that I see. Just I already saw sure. half okay, of okay, Dark so, Phoenix. So you want, make sure. do you want Dark Phoenix to be the last one? I saw half of Dark Phoenix, and I was like, this doesn't You do understand you Logan. can cheat the system. And? You just watch New Mutants, and then go home and watch Logan, and then everything's fine. No, I could just skip New Mutants then. No, he, ha- he has a point. Logan is technically way further in the future than New Mutants. Yeah, but I want it to be the I'm last. I'm not talking about timeline. I'm just talking if, like, I don't want that to be the last X-Men movie I've seen. Then just watch a better yeah, one after. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's hilarious. It's like there's Logan, which is like alpha level of superhero movies. Then there is like Days of Futures Past, which was actually good. That was a great movie. And then the rest of the X Men is like a C plus category at best. Yeah. Uh, Apocalypse, they really shit on. Yeah, that was. Good. Um, I it actually was okay, Logan, but Logan they was definitely amazing. did. Uh, I think Apocalypse it. itself was the issue with the movie. Well, that was the thing. The movie itself was fine, hey. but just the fact that, like, here's the big bad guy that's supposedly, like, this massive arc in the comic books, and you only really see him for, like, 30 minutes. And he doesn't even do much. No, he doesn't. And, like, his anymore. growing is, like, in a hallucination. Well, they can't show him choking Mystique too many times, otherwise it might offend somebody. Yes. The yeah. fact they had to explain and put in the story why Professor Xavier went bald just pissed me off. Like, he gets old and goes bald because he becomes Patrick Stewart. And it's, it's not just that. Like, I believe there is arcs where it's his mutant power that caused it. To him and, go uh, bald? And, I thought yes. it was his crippling that made it. No, I believe, like, his mutant power caused both. Oh. Like, That's his stupid paralysis to explain why he's his, bald. And his just, um, he baldness. Has no the hair. baldness is just, it, it didn't even need to be described. No, it didn't. I, I didn't like that. It's when, just, it's just like, it's, it's uh, Professor Xavier's bald. Like, yeah. just... We know. Going back to it's the like game delays. It's that, like, no, sorry. Uh, no, I was just going to say that um, I I didn't get I didn't say this before, but the um, game delays with all of them, and it's like, is this good or bad? I think for a lot of them, it's actually not so bad. Just because, because most of them have been minor delays, yeah. or they've been pretty big games where like, you know what, yeah. take the time. Like Final Fantasy yeah. VII Remake, you need another month? Fine. No yeah. problem. Like Cyberpunk, one or two, it's like we're trying to fix things. Any more than that, then it's a level of concern. Cyberpunk, you want to take four months? Fuck it. Make Keanu Reeves look as amazing as possible. I don't give a shit. <laughs> 8K yes. Keanu. Just, uh, don't release it during Adam's vacation because we want to see him cry. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> Nintendo is like famous for delaying a lot of their games. Super Smash Bros. on the Wii was delayed how many times? Yeah, a million. Really? They're famous for delaying games? I thought they were famous for not ever putting their fucking good games on sale. This is also true. But their games uh, are good. A little bit of both, I would say. Um, <laughs> Miyamoto has a famous quote where it's... Um, a delayed game can eventually become a good game, while a released bad game will always be bad. Yeah. And I love that quote because it's like, this is why this Nintendo is games, even if they are delayed, they're almost like flawless with quality. Like, that's the only, like for Mario, for example, the only real bad Mario game I would say is Super Mario Sunshine. And it wasn't even that much of a shit show. It just. Mm. It runs was, flawlessly. It's actually a fantastically made game. 
It's just the premise they chose is... Yeah. I don't want to shoot water at stuff. And even, uh, what's it called, Wind Waker. I hate that game, but yeah. it was done well. Yeah. Technologically and, like... Yeah, there's very little, like, you're not just choice. running and it's like, oh, the game crashed. Oh, it looks like but WWE 2K20. Like you just <laughs> don't. It's like WWE. 2K20. They should not fix that game. Just leave it. The I feel like they shouldn't is. fix it at this point. At this point just make let, it twenty dollars and exist. let it be. Yeah. Just let it exist. Lower the price. Let everybody buy this. Because super honestly, game because it's fun. Upload that shit onto Facebook and YouTube, and it's yeah. all those glitches because they would just they would probably make more money off those views than they would the actual game itself. Yeah. And some people may just buy the game because of how horrendous it is. Yeah. If it was cheap, I would maybe do that. Because it would be fun to have everybody over, drink, and just play a super broken wrestling play. game. Play. Yeah, play. <laughs> yeah. It's, there's one, there's one time I was playing, I remember playing, a, a, I, this will be a Voldemort moment, DC versus Mortal Kombat. The what now? A, one of the, an early game on the PlayStation 3. Was it bad? I actually never even tried it. I'm assuming it was horrible. Vishal looks traumatized. I'm, 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 I, I, think think Mortal Kombat without any of the fun. Yeah, that's what DC versus Mortal Mortal Kombat was. Great. It's no violence. Wait, what? No violence. But did they fight each other? Yes. Yes. But, but instead of fatalities, the DC heroes had what was called heroic brutality. So there's they no would, such thing as heroic brutality. No limbs, no the thing is, they don't. They don't even. Ripped out. No. What? They don't even look cool. They just. It's okay. They just so hug that, it out at the end. They try to make that? it family as family friendly as they could. Oh, you do you remember? Is a mistake. Yeah. yeah do you remember that Mortal one Kombat game is? that came out? Um, one Mortal Kombat game where you can design your own fatality. Oh, that would have been. It was either Armageddon or Deception. I think it would have been Armageddon. Yeah. Is Armageddon? Yes. So they all look so similar and so lame, and without the gore, without the it's just you're beating the shit out of somebody. Flash, like. Runs, punches, runs, punches, runs, punches, jumps, comes down, and, like, does, like, 20 kicks in a, in a slash. It's, yeah. it's nothing. It, it's so, like, they basically made Injustice. Yeah. Without it being Injustice. And Injustice is fucking amazing. But, uh, I mean, like, they were trying, like, that, I guess I was there but it could be the te- it. But it could be the technology at the time as no, well. No, it was not the technology, because it was... Oh, yeah, Injustice came out on PS3. Well, not even that, it's... Yeah. It's not even the technology issue. The issue with the game has nothing to do with any of that aspect. It's just the fact that they put, they try to make a PG, which does not work with Fear Mortal Kombat. Yep. Yeah. And uh, the other like, so was, I was playing the game one time, and Superman's facing forwards, but his cape went forwards too. He's oh. wearing his cape on his front, like oh, it was his honeymoon, and he's like, "Guess what I have under here." <laughs> So it just it's like maybe that's what the devs were going. It for. was a funny glitch. I was like, but what the fuck just happened? So we were supposed to be talking about 2020, and we just spent like three, four minutes on not 2020. So glitch. This it was a true. glitch in the system. Yeah, <laughs> glitch in this podcast. That's a normal thing already. And here. bingo card. Oh, bingo card. Um, I guess the biggest thing that we can really talk about that's going to be potentially happening in 2020, and it's also the thing I didn't want to talk about the most, just because I'm so tired of reading shit about it. Let's hear it. The console wars. Oh, yeah. Because we're going to be seeing likely two new consoles at the end of this year. Yeah. And for sure. every day, you cannot go five minutes on the internet without somebody saying, I don't care if this has this, but you should. Mm. Or it's everybody trying to say, put their ring in the or their, their name in the hat, being like, look, this is going to be the better one. Microsoft, you know, they have nothing to lose. It's like, guys, shut the fuck up. You don't know a goddamn thing about what any of these consoles you have. For the most part, we don't know any information still. Nothing. We know what the Xbox looks like. Like, there's a lot of rumors and hearsay, pricing, power. All that stuff is more or less hearsay, especially with the Sony PlayStation. Yep. So the fact that everybody's going around already for the size, let's not let's win. What I I know what though, what really wins it for me with the PlayStation, that logo is just fucking spectacular. Oh my gosh, it's so the different effort, from the so other the logos. The effort that was put into that logo, and even just the name PS Five, I was expecting something like shitty, and they went with something just out of the box, crazy, like right now. unbelievably. Just. And we're just gonna stop with that fucking name. So. <laughs> If they didn't go with PS5, they would have had a riot on their hands. Well, it's not like they could have done something stupid. Like, I don't know, naming the console literally the same name but with a word changed. Yeah. Xbox One X has now become Xbox Series X. That's not going to confuse the so, shit out of grandparents. I think what, oh, they, yeah. what could have been cool is like if they made it PSV for 5. PS Vita? 
Yeah, that's okay. probably why they didn't do that. They already going to be able to do that. Yeah, because they already had PSV. Somebody was looking at the um, because you Fair see enough. what the dev kit looks like, the fucking V-shaped console for the dev kit. Yes. Somebody's like, I hope that's not the console. I'm like, I kind of hope that is because that's kind of fucking interesting. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. It looks like a computer, just like the Xbox. Does. It, it looks, they all look it like custom PCs. It looks is like it a disc? cyberpunk console. Is it disc based or disc. Disc. yeah, okay. disc and because uh, we live in the present and digital. Not not two hundred years from now. Yeah. Oddly we're enough, in the Matrix. They they released um. A survey they interviewed 8,000 people in the UK and uh, I think also Europe or I don't know but it was at least in the UK and it was what features do you want in the new um, systems and one of them um, was um, backwards compatibility better graphics and all that other stuff but they actually said like how many people care about digital how many care about physical and how many want both and it was split like 50 50 digital versus physical. So it's definitely something that's still around. But that's mm. why the idea of both is necessary. Exactly. Because yeah. you have a market of people that don't want to have a shelf full of games, but yet at yeah. the same time, you have people that don't trust having all their games in the cloud yeah. and not being able to physically see okay, if my PlayStation breaks, I know I still have all this. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the other issue, too. It's why I've said Stadia was going to be a failure because. <laughs> well, there is uh, uh, okay. Uh, we up. we honestly d- could ha- if we want to talk about how Stadia is going to be a failure. No, it already that's, is. That's yeah, another. Fine. That's another four episodes. No, to but talk all about. I'm saying is the reason that Stadia is a failure is because there's the potential that if they shut down, any money that you put into it is gone. Yeah, I would never. That's put money why into physical media means a that. lot to people. Still, it's because they at least know that if the console yeah. is gone, like if you can't buy a console anymore, you still have the games. Like yeah. as long as you can find another console. Yeah. You can play those games. If you get a digital and there's no more consoles on the market, what do you do? Yeah. I need to have something I really, really trust. Like, I know I'd play most of my gaming on Steam. That I trust just because it seems like it's going to be around for a really, really long time. Steam is just, it's very, it's it, it's probably the most competitive in the gaming market. Well, until yeah. Epic decides they want to just keep throwing money at stuff. Yes, Epic is being a dink. They. Uh, Did you hear that Stadia wants to have exclusives too? Yeah, who the fuck? Yeah, who could? Nope. Good, yeah. good job. Uh, first, yeah, Stadia know. needs to get a. <laughs> Stadia needs to work first. Yeah. Yes, it needs to work first, and also not rip people off. Yeah, which I'm again, which is surprising because Google is usually really good, but not anymore. Yeah, I know. Not with this, um, at least. I don't, I don't know. Like the whole thing with, it's not Nintendo's kind of on the outside. Although a lot of people just keep saying, "Well, Nintendo, all, this version of the game is so much better than all the others because it's portable." It's like, guys. Portable, it does not mean you can charge me thirty more dollars for the game. Yeah. So the only, um, well, the only thing that's like with, I think it's gonna ha- make a huge competition. Like the people are co- starting to copy the Switch model, where it mm-hmm. is portable and also, um, local based. Sure. So like with, um, I think it was Dell that that I was I was showing you guys is coming up with their own Switch type of console. Oh yeah, it was Dell with Alienware who makes. Yeah. Uh, the super awesome gaming laptops. I mean, hell, if Sony does that too, I wouldn't give a shit. Yeah. But Sony wouldn't charge you an arm and a leg for every game that's good on their console. No. I kept saying this before, and this and this is just a little beef I have. This is why I'm never going to buy a Switch. Breath of the Wild. Oh, it's happened. Breath of the it's, Wild it's happened. is a year and a half At older least. than Spider-Man. Yeah. Breath of the Wild, the cheapest I've ever seen it, is $50. Yeah. Spider-Man, the cheapest I've ever seen it, is 20, 20. And that's everything now. Oh. So if you're telling... That, and we're talking Game of the Year editions. If you wait for it to go on sale, the Game of the Year edition will have everything. Yeah. So you're trying to tell me that a, a game that is a year and a half older is still triple the price? It's not supposed really? to be. But really, Nintendo, Nintendo will never change that. Because they know that all those games are the games that yeah. you will buy if you buy that console. Yeah. So they guarantee that every Switch is sold, you're buying Breath of the Wild. Yeah. It's just an inevitability. They've been doing that since... People try to tell me that there's all these amazing sales on Nintendo, and then I look at the list every time one gets put up, and it's all indie games reports. Oh, yeah. It's all the, like, the third-party games, they go on sale just like... I I don't know how... For me, when I bought Smash Brothers, it was 20 bucks off on Black Friday, and I was... how old is that game? I was... It was a year old. It was a year old, and I was actually in disbelief that it was 20 bucks off. It was the only place that was doing it on sale. Like, yeah. That's terrifying that it's a big deal if it's 20 bucks off. Yeah. That's where I feel like there's an issue. And I think like, that was well, Walmart it, doing it. Yeah, it was. The difference is, though, with Smash Brothers, it's almost infinitely playable. No, Again, no, 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 I don't care how no, but infinitely with, playable with something is. With Breath of the Wild, though. 300 hours. But once you play it, 
Once you finish it, are you ever going to play it again? Yeah, that doesn't mean a damn I probably thing. won't go back that to it. Maybe mean... 10 years from now or something. Not just even to that. Like, our, like, when was the last time you had an urge to play uh, Twilight Princess? Mm, okay, but that then... one, if it came out with, like, if they did an HD release or something on Switch, I'd probably play it again. When was the, have, have you finished any of the Zelda games multiple times besides the OG Zelda? Uh, Ocarina of Time, definitely. Oh. Um... I could see myself going back and playing through Link of the, to the Past again at some point. How long does that one take, though? Oh, that only took like 15 hours or 20 Okay, that's hours not too like that. horrendous. Well, no, but at the end of the day, is a game like Injustice, Mortal Kombat, Soul Calibur, Street Fighter, are they all infinitely playable? Yes. You can get them for $20. Yeah. Smash, you can get for 60 That's not a deal. Yeah. That's Nintendo knowing their market, knowing that they can charge you up the ass. Yeah, they know they can do it. And that's why I refuse to give them money right now, because if they What's aren't willing sale? to make it affordable for... Because this is the thing, too. Not everybody has 400 Like, we're talking Canadian prices, by the way. Nobody has $400 to spend on a console and then spend $60 just to play one game. When I can pay 8 bucks a month for PlayStation that's, Plus, uh, and I'll get two yeah. free games, usually one of them of pretty high quality, and then the sales that they have once a week guarantee there's going to be one really high game that's going to be 10 20 bucks yeah. the problem is isn't it's is nintendo works off of nostalgia and yes. with and i remember you're hard. actually bring up like memories of when i had my wii and i still have my wii but it's it I sounds remember, like a puberty joke yeah i like to play with my wii as well <laughs> so i remember the last <laughs> sometimes <laughs> i let people come over and just play with it yeah shake my wii Full motion control. We're it's not, crazy. We're, we're totally adults, guys. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, adulting. <laughs> adulting is easy. It's overrated, kids. Don't do it. Um. So, <laughs> fuck, man. Well, yeah, but you're you're still. No, playing. when I was with my Wii, it was after a while. I just really, especially also like the technology Nintendo puts in their systems, is just not future proof. No, no. like. Which is why it's an insult that they charge so much. Because Assass- they couldn't run Assassin's Creed, uh, I think I believe it was Black Flags, on the uh, Wii U. Yeah. Because it just wasn't powerful enough. Yeah. Like, when the Wii came out, it was 2006 or seven. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. HDMI Six. was, like, pretty standard on most devices. They didn't have it. They had this they didn't, Oh, yeah. They didn't even have HDMI. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. had uh, they had the component cables. Yeah. And... That is a problem because if your system is not strong enough to handle the future games, companies aren't going to come to you to release the game on there. They're, you're going to have to look into like doing a better job on your systems. Like Switch is a different case. Yeah, Switch because, they could do. They could just keep upgrading it and just keep releasing it like that. And I think that's yeah. honestly what they should do. I think yeah. the Switch has here's the thing. I don't have a problem with Nintendo with the Switch. I think it's a great fucking console. I just have a problem with the business practice right now. Yeah, with the prices. The console yeah. itself is a fucking fantastic idea because it bridges the gap. If you like Game Boy Advances or DSs or whatever the fuck, you have it. If you want to just play on your TV, you have it. Yeah. It's all in package. And now if you really just want the mobile form, now there's the Switch Lite. So you even have an even cheaper option yeah. for those people. Yes. For me personally, as a guy who doesn't like playing handheld, I have to get the biggest one. Yeah. So I, unfortunately, I, it just doesn't work that way. They like, go down uh, at the end of the year, because apparently they're going to release a pro edition. Is the and that's 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 even thing. that's just as annoying because once the pro edition comes out, it's like, oh, uh, uh, like for example, let's just say, um, Avengers comes out for Switch, but oh, it It'll will only work run on the pro. Edition. That is true. Pro. Some of the games with the new Nintendo yeah. 3DS were like that. So, so there is that risk. That's going to be a huge problem with yeah. that. I would rather they would just be like, okay, here is the next ver like whether it's Nintendo Switch 2.0 or whatever they want to call it. Because yeah. I would rather, um, I don't want them to go to a new gimmick. Oh, you yeah. know what? They yeah. are. There. This is going to happen because do you remember when Donkey Kong came up for N64? You had to purchase an expansion pack for the N64 yeah. to yeah. run that game. Yeah. yeah, you couldn't even run. I think Perfect Dark. You needed it, and there was other games you needed no, that no, expansion. No, no, you, you could have run it without it. Oh, okay. I remember. But would it run well or could, not? Really, I couldn't tell you what yeah. well was. I was. It added 12. extra memory so it could run better and stuff. But yeah, I remember that there was a lot. Of, there were games that required it or games that suggested it. And then uh, when Pokemon was coming out, like they had the Pokemon Red and Blue, which were fine, but then they had Pokemon Yellow, which 
honestly, I wish I waited to buy Pokemon when Pokemon Yellow came out because that one you could get the OG3. You can get Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle along the way and start with Pikachu. Yeah, but you're a kid. You ain't thinking that far ahead. I this, was this... I was not as young as you think I was. You're still young <laughs> yeah, enough to be young. stupid. 17. You're still young enough to be stupid. Okay, thank seven, you. That didn't come out when you were 17. I thought it came out in like 96. No, uh... Poke in Canada? No, Pokemon came out I am in ninety nine. There is no in, way you would have been seven. No, because I was ninety nine. I was in grade it. ten when I first played Pokemon. So Pokemon Yellow was nineteen ninety eight. Japan or Canada? Uh, as I'm looking here, it just says Ca- or North America. It just says September twelfth, nineteen ninety eight. Okay, mm-hmm. so I I can tell you I definitely out. played Pokemon, and. And I started playing it in grade 10, which was 1999. Well, yeah, but in grade 98, 10, you're like... Ni- no, wait, wait, 1998, 1999. So, yes, you could be correct on that part. Yeah. But either but, way. So, yeah, it's... As much as I love the Nintendo franchises, and I grew up with them, and I'll, they'll always have a place in my heart, you are correct about the business model and the business practice, and... They're fucking over poor gamers. Yeah, yeah. and those are the... <laughs> Technically, yeah, they're the ones that like that's their market because they were the ones who grew up in the eighties. They were the family market. Yeah. yeah. What's the family market usually? Middle class, usually making ends meet. Yeah. That's what family. That was yeah. we consider. I think family. they're pulling hard on the parents. I think that's what it is. They're trying to get parents who the ones that won't care what the price is because they're like, oh, okay, I'll buy this, and there's only two games. Cool. Not or, like, oh, or in other cases, they go for the hardcore gamers, a- aka the suckers, like what they do with freaking Sword and Shield, where you can't even bring back Pokemon. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, they took away the what's the thing called, like uh, the International the Pokedex or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the International Pokedex. Where you could take take old Pokemon from your other game and port them in. They took it out in this new game, so a lot of people were fucking yeah. furious. Well, that, because... that that was the... so. Here's the thing. Yeah. All the starter Pokemon from the original game are not in. Sword and Shield. The OG one fifty. Yeah. Well, no, not, not some of the OGs. Some are in of there. them. Pikachu's are. obviously no. in there, but okay. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. No. Oh my God, that is fucking blasphemy. Charizard's no. apparently in there, but the original two aren't, which is strange. Hmm. It must be something like you fight a gym leader or Maybe. somebody that has it. That that's probably it. And that was the kind of thing. And also, you look at the animation quality. It looks like Pokemon Stadium did a better fucking job with the animation back in the N64. That that and that game was actually not that great. Pokemon Stadium, no. Yeah. No, I yeah. played it. I did not own it. I well, think I played it at Blockbuster, and I was like, yeah, I'm done. I uh, I, I borrowed my friend's N64 because I never had one, mm-hmm. and I rented it because I was like, oh, I want to play this fucking game. And I was like, this this isn't that good. This really isn't that good. Like, if they made, like, a Pokemon fighting game where it was, like, Street Fighter or Smash Brothers even-esque, yeah. that would actually be pretty awesome. I mean, there is enough Pokemon now in Smash that you pretty much could do that. I feel like there's like eight of them in there. In <laughs> Not as many as there are Fire Emblem characters now. Oh my fucking god. People are god. fucking mad because they added the three houses yeah. uh, main character into Boy, the game. Because everybody was like, oh, it's going to be Sora finally. And yeah. It still was. I Sora, saw so many people Sora thinking it was going to be the no. Doom Slayer from Doom. And people thought it was going to be like Master Dante. Chief or Dante. But they also what, announced uh, another DLC Don, with another think, six characters. I don't think Dante... Dante doesn't have a license for going yeah, but, to Smash though, wouldn't Yeah, but a lot of... A lot of the things they brought in didn't either. They yeah. just oh, Mega Man's there, so they have the Capcom. Right. Sonic's in there. Yeah, and Street Fighter that was, characters. That was before, Capcom. Sonic is like no, an that was open before the Olympic Games. Yeah, Sonic came in before even yeah, that. Sonic no, was but on I the mean, Weaver. like when Dreamcast ended, like Sonic was almost an open. Yeah, but Sonic. Property. Sonic was. Well, he's owned by Sega still. Yeah, they got to make the deal. But Sega and Nintendo together is still like one of those weird things. It's yeah. Like, yeah, just, it just this would be to... Xbox and Any, Sony working together. Anything is possible on Smash because really it's just saying, hey, we're going to put you in this one game. Yeah. If you're gonna think of it, there's a Smash for it. Yeah. But anyways, I didn't turn this into a. I didn't want to turn this into a Bash Nintendo podcast. Well, Welcome to our so Smash Brothers. Actually, podcast. I, maybe to go we... all the way back. I, so I want to finish out the console war Sorry. stuff. Um, because to go all the way back to what incent me in the first place is, I don't like the fact that everybody's fighting again. And I've said this so many times before. It's the same with sports. It's the same with professional wrestling. With you know, obviously WWE and AEW now. Madden. I'm so tired of people picking sides. There is nothing that is better for the industry that you're cheering for than competition and competition yes. doing well. Yeah. It is not a good thing that the PS3 sucked in their era. It's not a good thing that the Xbox One sucked in their era. Yeah. It was great for me as a PlayStation 4 guy, but it wasn't good probably for a lot of Microsoft folks. Actually, I love yeah. the PS3. But so, well, the PS3 yeah. at the price launch, right? Yeah, fair There's enough. There's a lot of stuff early oh, yeah. on. It was just like seven hundred fifty bucks or some shit when it came it was, out. It was it, like six. It, it was like six hundred dollars back then. It yeah. was ridiculous. Yeah, 
I think it was there was two. It was because of the Blu-ray versions. player too, right? So. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah. what's what made that's what made Blu-ray king of the media. Yeah, because yeah. it was cheaper than Blu-ray players, See, which were like a thousand dollars at the, the time. The thing is though, because I'll tell you, I'll just say one thing about the competition. What if we didn't have Android? What if we were just stuck with iPhones? Uh, I would never have a phone. I mean, I, would I wouldn't iPhone, go that yeah. far. But the thing is though, I'd still have a Motorola flip phone. The the thing I is with the with phone. Androids. You get a lot more freedom. You can put your own media, and you have more customization. While Apple has a easier user interface, you don't get that freedom. And wouldn't you want that freedom if there was only the iPhone? So you gotta look at the competition. That yeah, it's there, options. there's options, yeah. and you just choose the one that's most suitable for you. It's just the plain ridiculous idea of fanboyism, which is something that I've never understood. Yes. As a guy who's been in so many different forms of entertainment and seeing how incredibly insane people are. Nintendo Adam's trying to get boys, into porn, everyone. Nintendo fanboys are the fucking worst. I, yeah. Apparently, there's a thing saying that oh, Sony's got the worst fans now. I'm like, I don't fucking know how you count that metric, but. Nintendo, for the longest time, were defending everything they did yeah. wrong. And it's like one of those things where, look, I get it. If it's the one console you own and you want it to be good, then yeah, you might defend it a little bit here and there. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't be shitting on Sony or Microsoft. Because if they go to business, Nintendo will even fuck you further. Mm-hmm. If there is no Xbox Series X, if there is no PlayStation 5, the Nintendo Switch will double in price tomorrow. Yep, yeah. If they know that there's no one to stop them, they change their price model. Yeah, because, because they know that it's the only game in town. But, That's why ISPs in the States are fucked up, because there's no competition. And I'll, you know what, this brings me back to the sports leagues. But that we're stuck with the big four, and there's really nothing else to watch. I think that when it comes to the competition for these systems, it's really important, because like, Xbox, the Xbox One launch was fucked. Like, they fucked themselves. That Are you E3... trying to tell me that you didn't want to watch ESPN on your game console? <laughs> I mean, no, not really, but... I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry, Microsoft. Just but, real talk for a second. But could you play Madden? <laughs> real talk, Microsoft. Actually, yes. You know that not all of your customer base... Are fucking frat boys. There's also 12 year old boys that yell at the N word endlessly on Call of Duty. Yeah, Remember your other market? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but, that, that's like the tamest thing they say on that. Yeah. But it's good that Xbox actually got fucked because if they hadn't, they probably wouldn't have kind of deviated away from trying to be just like the Xbox 360 where it's like, oh, we have the most popular system. So they went on and started in- inventing like the Game Pass stuff. And, and not only that, n- that no, one, exactly. no one bought them dinner afterwards. Yeah. They started um, releasing a lot of their Microsoft games directly on PC because, I mean, 95% it's of basically... gamers are Windows users. So, yeah. I mean, that's also Microsoft. They connected with Switch and started giving it... Like, Banjo-Kazooie is playable in um, Smash Brothers, but that's owned by Rare, which is owned by Microsoft now. And, I mean, you know the competition is good because if the rumors are true that the PS5 is going to have full, and not just backwards compatibility with the mm-hmm. PS4, but with everything in history... Yeah. That's code for Sony being like, we think the Xbox has a serious chance at knocking us down, yeah. so we need to take yeah. this seriously. Microsoft also, brought... Sony learned from their failure yeah. competing with the 360. Exactly, because Sony had, the PS4 was not backwards compatible at all. This is what competition all. does. It uh, makes you yeah. fuck up, it makes you take risks. I so believe, some back. I believe yeah. President Trump Putin is about to arrive. Well, I mean, yeah. we'll get to that point when we get yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. So, I wanted to bring up, like... Also, what do you competition have? brought in the stadium, let's just... Without yes, it, and they knows? fucked up, yeah. so now people know, oh, we probably we shouldn't make do this that. Better. Although that doesn't always work, because uh, Destiny <laughs> failed several times, and EA was like, let's do Anthem, and do all the same stupid Destiny, shit Destiny did. <laughs> I bought Destiny when it opened. It's free to play and, now. Yeah. The, oh. I how thought that, that, well, fuck how me. Does that I feel? actually <laughs> thought about Very it. Very bad, because I bought it opening. You didn't know, you didn't know it was multi, multiplayer online. Yeah, because I don't play online. And then I... Dude, it was the first Lab- game that I actually traded in for cred because I just was not going to play. It was the first game you ever traded in for like, like I I played it once. I'm like I'm this really isn't my thing. I used to trade in like Super Nintendo games. No, but it, it was like games. if I could, I would have fucking like returned it. Yeah, but I couldn't. But I was just like, this game really isn't what I thought it was going to be. That's why you research. Yeah, yeah I know was that was thing. that was my. That was my stupidity on it. I thought about and it. now that it's free to play, I lost forty bucks on that fucking game and played it for about an hour. Yeah, yeah, but when did you buy that game? Like the 
day it came out. So, oh my God. <laughs> um, so like seven years later. Yeah, I know. I, I well, listen. Probably, well, I'm, not seven. You years. can play Destiny too. We could all play it online. <laughs> But um, I, I will not play Destiny ever I, again. I completely <laughs> didn't even that. think about Destiny when we were talking about our game of the decades. I almost could consider that a game of my decade because I put more time into that fucking yeah, series. You were, yeah, sure. you were hooked you on were. it like it was cocaine. Well, I was also unemployed for a good chunk of that time, so... What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely for the time it was until I ran out of money. <laughs> um, so... What are games are you guys looking forward to coming up this year? Um, I don't know because most of them don't exist at this point. I'm I, I was telling well, him fish before the show before you came in, Chris, that honestly most of my list for this year is trying to get back to all the games that I missed last year. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So I got some. Also, there's not a lot on the list until June. Like I... other, apart from a couple of the delays, there's a lot of stuff that's either not announced or we know is is going to be later in the year or in the next year because so, of delays. I'll yeah. say a few, like, before I get to, like, the games I'm actually looking forward to, I'll do a few special mentions. I'm kind of curious about the Iron Man VR game. Of course we, you are. Like, yeah. it was of at, course you are. No, but it was like, like, we were at Fan Expo, and they actually had a demo for it. Yeah. And it actually looked like it would be a lot of fun, like, to actually be in the Star... I mean, the, probably not worth the price you'd be paying for no, it. No, absolutely maybe. not. I, I'm not buying it for right away. Also, I just... VR kind of freaks me out a little. Like uh, with the headset. I just won't use it. I know I won't use VR. I keep getting tempted for a PSVR, and then I keep stopping myself, being like, all you're going to do is play Borderlands 2 VR for, like, a few days, and then that's it. And then you'll have a giant piece of fucking headset on your phone and, or yeah. on your uh, table. Another one, um, Doom Eternal. Like, I'm not, like, not going to, like, probably buy it right away at all. I'm not going to buy it because I thought the Doom remake, while it was a fun game, while it was brutal and everything... There was really no substance to that game. It was like you go in a room, kill everything in there, and go into another room. Did and you then... forget what Doom is? Yeah, it's a video game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's just like you th- like you want some story and some substance to the game itself. That's not what Doom is. Yeah. I'm I'm aware, but it is a lot of games have changed. Like remember, when Grand Theft Auto first came out, it was steal cars, kill people, crash. And that's it. Sure. Then it evolved into something yeah. with because, more substance. Because Grand Theft Auto sucked back yeah. then. No, but apparently Eternal is going to have more story and it's going to yeah, be well, more. Well, I'm going to. I mean, Doom had story. It's just, you know, Doom guy kept punching the screen because he didn't want to hear it. <laughs> True. Yeah. So it was. Um, so that's my. I, I wouldn't mind buying it when it's like dirt cheap, like a $20 game or something, which it probably will be at a certain point. Oh, yeah. Because it's yeah. fucking on PlayStation, which means and it's will Doom. <laughs> Just don't get the, the Nintendo version of it. Uh, but I will uh, talk about one game, which I'm pretty sure is not on either of your lists of t- your top games, is The Last of Us 2. Well, that's because yeah. we don't have a date for it yet. I just yeah. don't even own a PlayStation. Exactly. You haven't had a PlayStation. <laughs> if that came out on PC, fuck yeah. I mean, there is the rumors that Horizon's going to go on PC. I am so And we won't that. see that's Chris for a list. month. That's on my list. No, we'll have to see. He has to show up for the podcast. <laughs> yes. Yes. We yes. will see Chris for the podcast, and that's about it. We will send out a private detective to drag his ass down here if we have to. You guys are gonna uh, be a private detective? You just so come to my place. So we're just basically Vish is gonna put on a trench coat and a and have a corn cob pipe in his mouth and he's gonna drag you into his place. I Do just, you think detectives I, okay. are like these days? Okay, I just watched Are you the, saying that private detectives today are not like what LA Noir has? Oh, I no, just that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I just exactly. watched The Godfathers recently and that's literally what they were wearing. So I have absolutely no problem going to Chris's uh, place at Sherry Gardens dressed up like that. Yes. I'd be like, Chris, what are you doing, man? You don't come for the podcast no more. <laughs> You're the what most Italian person I've ever seen. What damn disrespect is this? Down a disrespect he's, he's got is the this? tan. He does. <laughs> hey, uh, true. Yeah, but also, like, Adam Trump is pasty as fuck. True. Yeah, but he's only half Italian. I think. No, no, he is full, like, 100%. Yeah, either way. But Chris, what was the disrespect? You don't come for the podcast Wait, no, no more. No, you're right. Like the weird part of a lot of a lot of stuff right now is that again, there's no dates for a lot of things still. Like yeah. we know that. I think are uh, I think Last of Us is like legit. That one's like, coming out dated. in April, and I think yeah. it's because it got a delay, but it was only by like three and a bit weeks, which is fine. Like, okay, you're like if out. it got delayed again, that it's a okay, PS. It's, it's set for May 29th. Oh May. If it, sorry. If it got delayed again, it's. It's guaranteed a PS5 release at that point. Yeah. Well, there's been the they'll rumors do a have, they'll do a remaster or whatever. There's been the rumors that they have been holding it back because they want to release it alongside. So there is a possibility that if it gets delayed, you're going to get an idea of when that's going to be. Then yeah, that's fine. I don't I think mean, it'll get delayed. There's still like we there's still these all these big rumors about the PS5, and we'll know because the date that's been listed for the reveal that's rumored is the fifth of February. So we'll know pretty early into next month whether yeah. or not it's and, happening. 
Also, like I was talking with my uh, my cousin's, I'll just call my brother-in-law, my cousin's husband, and like he he made a valid point. While I think the game itself, like Adam, I don't think likes the game, but he's not. What also I've played. never said that before. <laughs> it's I just feel I feel it's a masterpiece. Like when it comes to like video game as an art form, I feel like that really showed that video games Both can be art. Mm. And but he he made a valid point that the gameplay was very. It's standard. Shit. It's standard. Oh yeah, it's 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 like Uncharted. They're amazing yeah, it's games, standard. but the actual gameplay is very no no. I, Uncharted, I wouldn't say that. Uncharted. Well, I <laughs> Uncharted. Are they very I um. Yes, Uncharted with stealth. Oh okay. It's a, a little bit of stealth. Okay. Um, but I Less find climbing. the story, character development, and actual environmental design and character design and like. The oh, artwork yeah. in it is fucking spectacular. It's, it's all about like the story and the the events that happen. Yeah, in it and, yeah sure. Because it's, oh, yeah. it's just my issue with those games specifically is if you wanted to make a story that good, fucking make a film. Don't make a game that's kind of boring. Oh, I don't know. Me, I, for me, I, I think all, if you don't grab me right away with a story and the game sucks, I'm not playing. Okay, but here's the thing. Um, I know it's one reason why video game movies. I made an article the, the, recently about video games that would make good TV shows. But the reason I while no, I'm no, making, no, no. I'm not talking about the interactivity. No, but, I'm just but, saying, if you want to make a good story but have a boring game, then just make the fucking movie. No, but or Adam, TV what I what I'm saying about this is that I notice a lot of times the reason why video games don't make good movies because video games are essentially what interactive. Fifty, 50 not not just that they're like essentially 15 hours. fifteen hours. A movie is essentially two, two. hours. You gotta yeah, you gotta really so condense it. You really condense it and you miss a lot of the source material. So For TV ex- series then. So that's what I was saying. Video games, a lot of times, would actually make better as a TV series. Like with yeah. The Witcher, yes. like I haven't seen it, but you you enjoyed The Witcher, Holy right? Holy fuck, I'm so excited for season two. So if The Witcher was a movie... It wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have. Or because, it would have only worked if this if first series was a trilogy. But there's seven books, and this just finished... I mean, you the could make first book. you could make a Witcher movie. It doesn't have to necessarily be like canonical. It can just be like a story of like it could they just be a big to, quest the Geralt does. You could. It, it could be, you but could. It, you would have to. It have would make s- more sense as a TV series. You're right. So yeah. that's what I was thinking. That like Last of Us, honestly, what, the that, Last that kind of, of Us story you could make into a two-hour movie. possibly a two-hour movie. Like that this, kind of story yeah. you definitely could, like a post-apocalyptic, because there's been a but thousand it would of them. it would be significantly rushed though because there's some How characters. Would you know? Like, um, I, um, assuming I, that you, we don't know the game exists, okay. you could you could make a Fair Last enough. of Us kind of story in two hours because there's been plenty of movies. Okay, that yes. Have done it. If it was like, let's just say now you make you're the talking last taking the entire Last of Us story and putting it in there, you're cutting a lot of shit out. Yes, you're right. So that's yeah, what yeah. I was realizing that a good story in a game is important because, like for me, like can you play a game if it had a shit story if the gameplay was good? I mean, that's what most fighting games are. That's what Mario is. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> What's the story? So, the why is honestly, Peach still captured? If the, but if the story is captivating enough, but the gameplay is standard. It's dependent would it, would on you, the game. You cannot play a JRPG if the story sucks. Okay. That's the easiest one well, right um, there. What's it called? Yeah. Last of Us is more of an action well, no, no, game. No. But like what I mean is a turn-based RPG, gameplay is honestly secondary. The story is what sells it because it's an 80-hour yeah. thing. You need to be able to maybe engage. An open world game, there's a lot of shit to do. It can keep you invested. So the story can have its bits here and there, but it doesn't need to be constantly prevalent. Yeah. A adventure game specifically like The Last of Us, you're right. Story needs to be good. That's why a lot of people like that series, because it did the one thing it needed to do right. The problem is, is it wanted to be an action adventure game. And in my opinion, the action is not interesting. It's not fun. It's stressful. I, 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 the controls are sloppy, so it becomes less. Did action. you? Uh, did you? Did you play the game at all? Or? Yeah. Why would I? Wouldn't say anything about. No, the I, I honestly didn't know. I thought you may have seen videos. I played or... about two, three hours of it. I okay. tried to power through it, and I got so mad at it because every enemy was. And here's the other thing too: if you want to do stealth, this is my personal opinion. You cannot have them randomly, aimlessly walking because you can't predict anything no longer. So you can't prepare. Honestly, when it comes to stealth, no one does better than Metal Gear Solid. Well, that's a thing too, right? Yeah. But a lot of the times, guys the will have one? tracks. So you'll be able, if, you, so if you leave a guy alone long enough, you'll know, okay, this is how I can sneak by him and shit like that. Last of Us, I got the feeling like it didn't matter what I did. It was the same with Horizon, which is why when the story mode difficulty came out and damage was increased drastically, I could take advantage of it. If I was forced to play Horizon on normal, I'd never finish it. And that's another thing oh. too. Horizon's gameplay is, is really fun, 
but they bullet sponge shit. That's another catch to it. Yeah. The story is amazing. Those. What do you mean bullet spun? Like a lot of health. Yeah, like oh, the, okay. the enemies take a lot of bullets. Like if you if sponge. you if you play it on normal, like you better be ready to spend a lot of time like taking. Well, like, like, that's the thing. thing. It's just I down. try to play games on normal, but then. I, re- I forget. I'm in my 30s, and I just don't have the fucking time or yeah, place that's, to deal with it. For me, it's the time. Because I heard for Horizon, the idea that the devs had was, like, when you first start, it's really fucking hard. And it's supposed to be, like, that's how bad it is for her. And but then you do, like, side so... quests and stuff, and all of a sudden, you're level 26, and the next story mission is and that's, level And 10. that honestly makes sense, because in the mm-hmm. same vein of, I don't like how all these games make you start as this superhero badass. Yeah. Where you have all these skills in the world. The problem is... Is if you really like, let's say, Mass Effect. You start out rookie, fucking. You've just barely got through training. You can basically just fire your weapon. You have, a, but you have a little bit of sense about you. Yeah. You would fucking suck at that game. Yeah. Because that'd yep. be Resident Evil level controls, like original Resident Evil level. Okay. Controls. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, like one of the games I'm looking forward to this year for obvious reasons is the Resident Evil Three remake Shock. because that's on my list. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell so, yeah. So with the like I've. For obvious, like for me, I play Resident Evil since I was sixteen, and I fucking love Resident Evil. And Resident Evil Two just came out this year. Uh, Chris and I were racing through it. I finished you both fucking stories. You me and, and fucking I, killed yeah, me. Yeah, I, I legitimately wrapped. I'm like five hours in, not even. So that's not surprising for the guy who has a massive black log. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm playing no, two I, other games. It was Fire Emblem. It was fucking Fire Emblem. I was playing Resident you're Evil. You're welcome. Fire Emblem showed up and I went, oh, okay, I'll play this. Oh, I can take it into bed so, with me? Fuck! <laughs> with Resident Evil Just 2, me. like, it didn't feel like a remake. It felt like a brand new fucking it game. It felt like a better version of the game. It, no, yeah. it felt like a brand new game. It felt like a proper remake. No, no, a brand new game. Isn't like, it amazing when you don't have to look at a fucking loading screen for a door? What do you mean? You still have to look at the... It still does the same animation. Yeah, but you both... But there's no of, loading after it. Yeah, there's... The load it, it doesn't yeah. stop the scene. Well, the cool... Like, door! <laughs> no, no, it does that. It still does, like, you go to no, the... No, it opens... I was watching that speed run of the other day. No, but oh. Chris, what he means it, is, like, it opens and you walk in. It's not like... It's oh, a loading screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. so with originally Resident Evil, when you saw a door, it would, like, open It'd door, like fucking walk cutscene. in, and then... 15 seconds later it's a it's yeah a yeah it was an actual and also screen. what was different about this one is like you could it's not like you run away from the room and you're safe no they fucking follow you yeah so it was definitely it it, it kept me on my edge like it was so like intense that like i was fucking like into it the entire time it wasn't like oh i just go here i go here and the only bad thing about resident evil and it's not necessarily a bad thing. You have to keep going back and forth to certain areas to pick up items. Yeah, and I do to find like, that annoying. Well, it, it, yeah, but if everything was in a straight line, what would the point be? Yeah. Story. Exactly. So that was, Then it would just be Final Fantasy Thirteen. But this time, also, like... Yes, it would. <laughs> like, this was a uh, different game compared to the original Resident Evil 2, where, like, Chris... Uh, sorry, Leon and Claire's stories were essentially similar and ended the same way. It's just you saw different perspectives of it. This time, though, you you saw some characters in Leon's story that you didn't see in Claire's, and you just saw some characters in Claire's story you see in Leon's, and you had different aspects of the storyline that was not like it was in the like you just and it, they, they they weren't like afraid to go ballsy on it. Ada still yeah. totally totally dies, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, it is so fucking hot in this game. <laughs> like, well, it's almost like 2019 graphics make 2000 what or probably even Nin- 90s potentially. No, it was graphics. I think 98. I think 98 90. is when it came I've out. I've seen like old footage of, of Resident Evil 4 and like seen like the wavy skirt that fucking Ada had. Uh, like, dude. man, that remember when that used to look really good? So, man. here's the thing. When uh when Resident Evil when Ada comes in, she spoiler alert friends. When Ada Wong comes in, you came. In the well played. <laughs> uh, so when Ada Wong arrives, <laughs> fuck. So when he, when she is first introduced into the game, she's wearing a trench coat, and then Leon gets injured, and Ada's like, oh. and she just takes off her jacket, and it's like it's vintage Ada Wong red dress. It's like, holy fucking god damn. Yeah. See, vicious into two D. Yes. But the, it's but not. With- so I heard so for Resident Evil 2, I know that they kept the story mostly the same. 
Like they did change a little bit of stuff, but yeah. like they they still took the core story from the first like it's the pretty original much the core story still. Apparently they, for three, the one coming out this yeah. year, they've actually changed a lot of the story. Like they've, oh. they've actually made a lot of change. Did it used to have multiple endings? Resident Evil. I think, yes, I think it most did. of them did, did anyway. Didn't yeah. They? So this one apparently Two it's did. not going to have multiple endings. It's going to just have one canonical. The canonical. Okay, one, that's why. Well, that's what I'm wondering about. Also, if. Like I, I'm all but convinced that there's gonna be a Dino Crisis remake. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, which would be awesome. And Dino Crisis one had three endings to it. Uh, hmm. So I'm wondering if they're gonna do the same with that. Yeah, maybe. And with Resident Evil three, I'm just that was one of that was uh, for the longest time my favorite of the series. Uh, a lot of people are like it's. I'm not into this whole. It's the first. It's the best thing. Because like Resident Evil of, one isn't great. It is. It is. At first time, it was a really good game. Yeah. And even the we no GameCube remake was done very well. I have it on the PS four or five. Oh, By P- the way, PS four or three. There are four endings for Resident Evil two. There. I just looked it up. The there, new one. There, the new? there are two for each. Oh. Well, fuck me. I I'll have to go on YouTube now to watch them all. <laughs> uh, and. So with Resident Evil 3, there was like three different endings. I got all three of them. Uh, so I'm really curious as to how they're going to change the game because... Yeah. Well, I know Carlos or whatever his name is. Yeah, Carlos he, Yeah, he was like... He's a, a really sm- cool character. He had a small part in the original game. Or you, did you even get to play as him or anything? Oh, like yeah. That? So apparently whatever he had, they've made his part like much bigger. Oh, like he has okay. a lot more story, a lot more stuff going on. Well... They it's got a lot more space on the freaking disc ne- they can put shit on. Yes. So. Well, it's different now because, like, with Leon and Claire's game combined, it's about 20-ish hours. Yeah. It's similar because you're in the police station for a long time. Yeah, you just keep going back. So it? you're kind of, once you play the police station the first round, you're kind of familiar with it the second round. Yeah. And with the, um, with the, with Resident Evil 2, it was, you're playing around the entire city. Yeah, so you're you're with around the twenty hours combined with both characters. With this game, I'm expecting to be about twenty hours as one character with Jill. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that you play as Jill, but then it'll switch over and you play as Carlos for yeah. a bit, and then you switch over. Well, again. and uh, Jill's new, you play as the M Nemesis. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, Have you, but God. that's one big change. He has a flamethrower now. Yeah, which the other change is that you play as Nemesis, and there's literally the trigger button doesn't attack; it just goes stars. <laughs> you can't actually kill anything. You, walk <laughs> you just walk around yelling stars yeah. at people. And okay. that Resident Evil uh, Resistance or whatever that multiplayer game that's a like, break. Uh, yeah, like, like uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Is oh, that, the new thing they're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, actually I was thinking, like the old Outbreak games. Yeah. No, no, no that is just the multiplayer mode of Resident Evil Three. Like that. Yeah. That is actually just included in there. That's amazing. Stars. Stars. So let's start uh, quick shooting through a bunch of stuff here. Yeah. Uh, movies. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck you. None of us have done our games yet. Oh, okay. You mentioned one game. Madden. Yeah, it's all Madden. You, you go ahead. Because well, I, I know mine it, are going to double up. I think on the yours easiest so one is is the Final Fantasy VII remake. I am so excited for that. Mm. And like maybe it'll end up on PC a year later or something like that. But still, I'm so I'm, excited for it to come out and just. I'm not getting it, it until. I, I'm not getting it until the new one. Yeah, no, Until not. So it's finished. Sorry. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to buy. It's a PC. I'm buying it. I don't give. Because I never finished it on the one hundred twenty dollars. Sorry, <laughs> I never finished it on the PC on the PlayStation. Fuck, man. Uh, well, now you can finish it on the PC. I will. <laughs> I mean, my brain power. But just tells I me just, that... I'm gonna, I'm the type of guy that if I have something, I, I, and if it's like, because that's what happened with me with Lord of the Rings. Like, when I watched, I was like, why are they having three ring moves to destroy a movie? And then I saw the first one because I was bored. And then Frodo and Sam walk away. And that's it. And it was like, what, what What the fuck just happened? I'm like, I need to know what happens. Like, it's what the fuck? It's still not as bad as Halo 2. Who's 2? The fuck? English. Halo 2's ending where literally the ending is like, so what are you going to do now, Chief? I'm going to finish this fight. Hmm. Credits. It's like, <laughs> to be What? <laughs> Oh my God! Those are the that's that that is the reason that I liked God of War one better than God of War two, because God of War two had that teaser ending where Kratos like Zeus, your son has come, and that was it. But yeah, straight up, I will wait for everything to yeah. be done because they will probably package it together anyway. Oh, for sure. And I don't want to play a game that I've already played through to only play part of a game. So far off. If it comes to PC, I will not wait at all. I will buy that. Day Seven is also like one, one of your one of your big ones. So actually, it's it's like my 
seventh favorite or eighth. Oh, really? Favorite. I always yeah, say yeah. you were a bigger one on that. Oh no, no, I'm more about Final Fantasy one through six. All of those ones, like four and and six, so more specifically. Like for him, like Super I know Nintendo six ones. is one of his favorite games of six all time. Six is one six of the is best, the best one they've ever made. Six oh, yeah, might actually be the best game ever made. Yeah. Ten is still my favorite just because reasons. Four is like my Sora ten because it was the first what? one I really. Who was a girl? It's Kingdom Hearts. Oh, who is a girl in Riku. Final Fantasy? Riku. Oh, Riku, yeah. And you know in Hot Pants. Yeah. <laughs> Four is my favorite, like how 10 is yours. I think it's just like it's the first main one you played through and it's your nostalgia and everything. Four is the first one I ever played, but I'm just like... Oh, Four. Oh, I love Four. Four, Four. I'm always like, why do you bring me characters just to make them go away for half the game? Yeah. Like Yang lasts like one boss battle. I think they hadn't figured out having more... Because they'd never had in, in the Final Fantasy at that point being able to switch out characters yeah. yet. So they had to like, okay, they temporarily die so we can give you a new character. Yeah, like they Sid, had to figure Sid that like out. dies like several times. <laughs> blows himself up, jumping to his death down a mountain and just shows up. Yeah, he's he like, just, just shows chilling up. in a bed. He's just always alive. He literally jumps out of a freaking airship holding a bomb. And My knowledge of Final life. Fantasy is about... It's minimal. As, it's, my, it's my it's NFL. Minimal. A guy, yeah. a guy jumps <laughs> off an airship, thousands of feet to the underground where there's a lot of lava. Yeah, he would have landed in lava with a bomb in his hand, explodes, and is in a bed. Yeah. So Adam's having British Tourette's. Explodes. Explodes. <laughs> And also, um, but Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, so Final this Fantasy sounds like the first scene of Captain America: The Winter Soldier. No, no. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Much better than that. I, I just want to walk around, fucking. Oh my god! Why am I blanking? Midgar. Thank you. Jesus Christ. God, are you even a fan? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to play that game real bad. And when it comes out, I'm gonna watch so much of it on Twitch. It's silly. And I'd be worried about exploring the story, but I mean, I've played through that game like nine times. So. I, I can't wait for all the stories. Well, we are. Um, like, oh, Barrett's voice is racist. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. It's going to happen. <laughs> what? Why oh. are you looking for this shit, man? I'm not looking for well, it. Like, we were, when when, when we were at Fan Expo, they had the demo up there. There was It was a ridiculously long wait. Otherwise, I would have played it. But it's it was cool because you it was showing Cloud and uh, Barrett. Barrett fighting. And you could switch between the characters midway, and you can actually choose between playing real, real. Except you'll never choose to be Kate Sith. No, no one will. <laughs> Fuck Kate Sith. Which one's that one? Uh, it's, uh, it's a plush. It's a he's giant the big plushie. Moogle plushy, and there's a little cat sitting on top of him, and the cat. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's fucked. I'll just play as Yuffie and just constantly quote shit. Uh, I, well, yeah. But so, Yuffie won't even be in the first game. Not the problem, Vincent. Whenever I play an no, RPG, no. I change the names. So I don't I know any of the characters. Too. I always did that too. Oh, Cloud was Chris. He is me. Side note, if you're making a JRPG and you have voice actors, guys, stop making the characters nameable for the main yeah, character. Yeah. Just give them a fucking name. Hey, I'm tired you. of being you. <laughs> Titus didn't have a fucking name. Yeah. That was stupid. <laughs> what was the point of naming <laughs> It was Titus, the first no Final Fantasy game with voice acting, and they didn't give him oh a fucking God. name. Titus is like the most... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Titus. Titus, yeah, I is that how you say it? It's, it's Titus. I think or it Kingdom Hearts what? that showed us. That's I think how wasn't it was. wasn't a type when it was just tits us. No, no Titus t- means son in a specific language. Every Final <laughs> Fantasy character for a long time they always was, reference something. They re- so Terra, Final Fantasy VI, Terra is just another name for Earth. Earth. Yeah, and then Cloud. I mean, that's a fucking cloud. And the next one, Squall. That's obviously a fucking storm in the sky. I mean, Sephiroth. Nine, nine, yeah, Garnet, and then ten Titus, which apparently means son. So they just fucking didn't so, even try. Um, I'm, I'm, I just want to play it because I've never played the... I never finished the original game. Because, How far did you get in the original? Uh, second disc. Okay, so you even if you play the remake, you're still only playing the first disc. That's Not, basically actually, the first remake. Actually, halfway into the first disc. No, I'm, I'm waiting until the full game yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah. So you I will can, need to, yeah. Uh, then Cyberpunk for me, which is the other. Cyberpunk big one. is the one. Is that... Cyberpunk a uh, first-person? Yes, yeah, so it'll be a first-person yeah. shooter. Okay. It's basically going to be The Witcher, but first. Yeah, and it's shooter. made by the people. Who which, made the by Witcher. the way, is okay. People who were complaining about that. They were complaining about. There that? are a lot of people being like, "Why is it not third person?" I'm like, "Cause it's a fucking shooter." Yeah, <sighs> Adam, bitches be crazy. Yeah. That's probably the only game this year that I'd be willing to buy the day it comes out. It, it might actually Everything well, else I'll wait for a sale. Technically, I'm not even paying full price for that. Amazon put it on for 55 bucks for yeah. pre-order once, so I'm like, uh, yes. It's the only one I have coming out that I won't wait for a sale. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Cyberpunk, so. you're, you're I mean, actually going to buy really, it right, right away? There honestly isn't even much huh. to say about it, like... Because, I mean, there's no precedent before it, so it's so it's just going to be like this, uh, like, if it's what I believe it's going to be, it's going to be essentially Witcher, but in this crazy futuristic town. So, I'm just wondering, if it's Witcher, will, will Keanu Reeves just go on and be like, 
Hmm. The entire yeah. time? That'd be amazing. No, he would but just no. go around and be like, you're breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> or he'll just go full Matrix. Well, apparently, he's, he's apparently something more in your head, I think, from what I understand. Uh, like, I it's cool. like it's like it's a, ch- like it's a chip in your head. Or so he's yeah. Victor Reznov. So he's almost like an AI, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's I've, It's so many things you hear about. That's why I'm excited for it, because like, I know a lot about it, but also I don't know anything about it. It's an original so, game, an original story. It's based off a board game. So it's Cyberpunk. He's it's Victor. Like Dungeons and Dragons. He's Victor Reznov. Yeah. But yeah. Otherwise, uh, what do you got for games? And then we'll quickly run through movies because um, we don't have that much time left. I'll go through quickly. I've got oddly enough Horizon because if it comes to PC, I'm going to get that. All actually, no, that's the only other one I would also get. I will lend you I'm my PS4. He, to no, no, no. no I will buy it on PC. If I, he will get it for PC. If I can get it on Fair PC, enough. I can get that running probably like real sweet. Oh, that's gonna like look, ultra it looks settings. Amazing on a PS4. It's yeah. going to look. Yeah. Real and I'm nice hoping when they because it's Girl a game when it releases, ball. it'll be like forty dollars from the get go. So I won't need to wait for a sale. I'd pay forty bucks right out of the big gate for that. Um, um, I'm excited for Avengers. Just to see what's going to happen with it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't even know if it's going to be I don't know if I'm PC. excited so much as I'm just paying attention. Yeah, I just really want to see what's going on. I've got the suspicious glare on it right now. I just want to see it release I, and see what it that's, is. That's, you know, I, I don't know. I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be. I would like to think it's going to be a good game. I, but I, I think it's. I think it's going to be good, but not like spectacular. I don't think it's going to be what we think it is either. I'm, I'm assuming it's not going to be. No, I have no idea what it's going to be, and that's why I just want to see it. Which really. is, but I'm waiting till I see like if it's an eight and above, I'll definitely buy it. But if it's anything lower, I'm going to wait till. It's if it's on a Death sale. Stranding where people either love it or hate it, I'm like, nah, I can wait. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I wait. I'll probably wait for a sale unless you guys get it and it's like cross-platform play multiplayer. Well, if it's on PC, fuck, yeah. I think we can all. Just... It'll be cross-platform. There's no, no yeah, I think we can all happen. just like split on it, so we can all just share it. No, you can't play the same games at the same time. Well, fuck me then. Yeah. It's like, yeah, bitch, it get your own money. I will have to buy it separately. So fuck yeah. you guys. Uh, yeah. Anybody else got any quick games to drop in? Or uh, we'll quickly run through movies. There's there's a Predator minutes. game that I think is pre- oh, looks yeah. pretty fun. It was made by the guys who did. I can't remember what the other game was, but it's like where there's one monster Dead, and four. Dead by five, daylight. Dead, Dead by, by daylight, and they're making a Predator game. That sounds like a good. That's idea. fucking cool. So I think that would be cool because you get to play as a predator and be a predator. Yeah. Now you just wait for the alien crossover. Yeah, because they were apparently doing it with a different IP and lost the license. I think they were doing like Friday the 13th or something like that. No, that was a different company. Oh, okay. So unless it's the company that was making the Friday the 13th game. Oh, maybe it was them actually then. That maybe, is doing it, it could be now. that, but who knows. Or maybe it was like Alien. Huh. I don't know. They, I think that they had another IP. There's lost a Predator it, game. We know that much. It. Yeah, exactly that. So I think that one will be fun to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, but I think that's it for me for games. Though. Yeah, me so too. Mo- movies, we got like 15 minutes left, so let's just quickly run through a bunch of them. So Birds of Prey would be like the first one on our Oh my schedule. God. I actually don't even have that one on my list. Really? I'm, not, I'm not saying I don't want to see it, but it's not my most. I just have like game. a massive list of basically all the comic books. So, so, okay, so here's the. I, I will mention the ones I don't think. Are we're we gonna, not going to talk about Birds of Prey? Or are you just glossing over my shit here? No, no I'm, I'm going to mention a few of them I that I'm good. that I don't think any of us are going to discuss as a group. So the Kingsman, I so love. So he's not touching my shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the Kingsman, I love the Kingsman. Uh, the second one was okay, and this one's like going to be a prequel to the Kingsman franchise so I think I'm curious to see how that's going to be uh, there's Onward a Pixar movie which I'm a huge Pixar fan as most of you know and I because this one has Chris Pratt and Tom Holland in it and it's it's, I just think it's going to be a really good movie, and it looks like it's going to be like Coco, where people are cutting onions during the movie, and it's just fucking inconsiderate. Stop cutting onions, you fucking bitch. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> fucking, like, let me watch Coco in peace. Don't no, let you're me... clearly the one cutting. Stop lying that somebody's yeah. cutting onions. I am onions not cutting any fucking you're onions. cutting onions yourself, you lying sack of shit. Uh, I, I probably I won't watch this in theaters at all, because I, I just don't think it's worth it. Godzilla vs. King Kong. Oh fuck! I want to see that. <laughs> it's okay. I, I got okay. Uh, never mind. We uh, never mind. Uh, Chris and I are gonna go watch uh, Godzilla versus King Kong I mean, because that's just such a good concept. Exactly. It's just it's so <laughs> ridiculous. It has to fucking happen. I think it's already happened in like the seventies, <laughs> but. Uh, so I really enjoy. I I really enjoyed. Uh, like we were talking when we watched One Knives Out, that Daniel Craig was the the American version of um, Hercule. What's it? Hercule Park. Wow, well. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I thought the Murder on Orient Express was a cool movie. Not the new one. You didn't like that one? Oh, it's bad. I didn't see the new. Have one. You I saw seen it. the original. The new one is so fun. Okay, bad. I didn't see the original, but I thought the I so I went in blindly, and I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was cool. I thought I the the end concept was interesting. Mm-hmm. 
So Murder on the Nile, I think, will be cool because I like detective types like Sherlock Holmes and Hercule Poirot. Yep. And now um, Daniel Craig from <laughs> um, Knives Out. Knives Out. Okay. And also one last one that I don't think is on anyone's list is um, Coming to America 2. That is on my list. <laughs> okay, shit. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, because that, that. W- the, the original movie is just so good. Yeah. You can watch it and just never be bored. I like the concept. He had, um, it's apparently, it's that when he was in America the first time, he had a son with that girl and he never knew about it. So now James Earl Jones is on his deathbed and they fi- and tells him, like, you have a son in America. So Arsenio Hall. Wait, wait, who has a son in America? Eddie Murphy. But didn't he marry that girl? I don't remember what happens at the end of that movie. That movie's all fucking. He married that she, girl. Yeah, but I think she moves. I think she's back in America and stays there, but is pregnant and never tells him. So the prince of the country is actually uh, in America. So Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall has to come back to convince this kid who has no idea that he's a prince or a prince or whatever a second. So prince. everyone, this is Shrek the Third based in Harlem. Yes, and I wonder if Samuel L. Jackson will be the janitor still at like the Burger King or whatever. Where Eddie what Murphy are you talking about, motherfucker? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's on my list as well. Okay. So you have Birds of Prey, Radical. So hopefully this is going to be what Captain Marvel was supposed to be without the over-the-top marketing that didn't work very well in its favor. I think it'll be fun. I'm hoping that they that they don't skew too far on the girl power stuff, although the trailers have made it yeah. seem like they're more just going for fun and that's yeah, it. Yeah, as long as and they that's don't... What they do, because Captain Marvel could have been just a really fun movie and they decided to get a little too yeah. political with it. I, Birds of Prey I looks like know. they're being like... I think... <laughs> I mean, the marketing may have been with Captain Marvel, but the movie itself really wasn't like the whole girl power thing. If they say mm. something, like, if it's something where they're called birds of prey in the newspaper, and then they're like, they should have called us girls of prey, then I'm going to be like, ah, oh, I'm going to walk out. No, the so worst was in X-Men and Dark Phoenix were like X-Women. calling us X-Women. I'm like, yeah. See, thank God I that didn't watch Dark Phoenix. Oh, no, that, that was Mystique they, made a comment like right like, at the beginning. I, was like, I, I sincerely... Me? With my sister or with my niece, I sincerely consider myself a male feminist, but that line just was It's painful. just pandering. It's just pandering. It I was just it. painful to listen to. Speaking of painful, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my god. That so, is obviously uh, on my list. So, okay. So, what <laughs> I, you took I, my Sonic. I'm a huge Mario <laughs> fan. Yeah. For me, Mario is what Sonic is to Chris. Oh my god. So, I, so here's the question. Is Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> the movie going to be worse than Super Mario Brothers? That's going to be no. The- it's going to be better. It's it, going to be. So I much think better. Sonic is okay. Co- with, with the original animation, could it have been worse than Super Mario? Brothers? Oh yes, yes, very much so. <laughs> yeah, because actually, no equal. The- well, yeah, awful goom- for different reasons. It's as but accurate both awful. as the Goombas okay. are in the movie. Yeah, that's the thing. He's the Goomba, <laughs> but the Goombas were only on for a certain part. And Sonic saw they were on way seat. too long, regardless. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he would be the Goombas. Bowser but- was a human. Oh God, he was Dennis Hopper. But okay, why listen, Dennis Hopper? My dog is Bowser. I just just, just stop right there. He looks there. more realistic. Your dog looks yeah, more realistic do- as yeah, Bowser than Dennis Hopper did. Hopper yes, did. who just did his hair weird. <laughs> Look, we are, we're all it's gonna. So- Terrible. We have to watch that we, movie we are again. going to watch Sonic the Hedgehog, and we are going to go in assuming. If it didn't man, come out on if it's Valentine's better than a five day, out of ten, we are going to be so happy. No, I, I am I, actually I, thinking it's going to release at like a seven and a half out of ten. I, I honestly think that's what no, because get. when the are happy about it at least now, yeah. so they're going to give it a shot. Have you heard I, the theme song? No, it's Sonic done by the Liz Hedgehog Khalifa and all these other and uh, Ty Dollar Sign, and the music video is sixteen bit Sonic. Running with 16-bit all these guys. Remember, like, um... Chicago Why the Rock? fuck have you kept this from us? I don't know. Because I thought you guys look at the... Adam, just don't, don't don't YouTube it yet. We gotta wait. I'm yeah. gonna not get copyright yeah. strikes. I'm not you putting play in Final <laughs> Fantasy on your fucking phone into yeah. the mic. Do you guys remember when the Ninja Turtles movie came out? The, like, Michael Bay ones? And there was that Shell-Shocked song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the only good thing that came out of the Ninja Turtle movies? Because the Shell-Shocked song? I had such low expectations that movie, I gave it a 6 out of 10. No, that that movie is basically gonna be, like, a please just be marginally okay. I think it's gonna be I I think it's gonna... No, but we're going into that thinking it's gonna be a train wreck. No. No, uh, not anymore. Go. I don't think it's gonna be a train. Not movie. anymore. I don't think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be a fun look. The kids entire movie. the entire path of it only screams train wreck. It's just a matter of okay, did they salvage it? Yeah. No, I honestly at this point now, I think since they, I but I also think a lot of it was done on purpose. That I think with, I mean it could have no because with the um with the original reaction to it, everyone was like 
Yeah, but that was the animation. We still I, know if yeah. the story was good. It was pure animation. Like, the story... We don't know well, if the story was no, bit, and he hit a million steps. That's fucking hilarious. Genius yeah, writing. I know. 10 out of 10. So I think it's going to be... Game easy. I think this it's going to you're not a film critic. <laughs> I think it's it going to be, be like Transformers, movie. where we have nothing to base it on. Yes, I think it'll be kind of like the first Transformers, where it was We like, loved it, it because yeah. it was the first one, but then after we realized... This is fucking garbage. Yourself. I didn't even like the first Transformers. I like the first one. I just hate the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. And one. now collectively the first one just because of, of guilty by association. Yes. If they never made any other ones, I would have been like, that movie was okay. I would have never been hurt by it. Well, uh, but yeah. Now I'm hurt. Uh, getting away from Michael Bay bullshit. <laughs> the most Michael uh, Bayest of Michael Bay. As Bay-est. I'm just going through the list here of like a couple things. Obviously, Black Widow is the next real big. Um, uh, that uh, the, my only problem with that movie it should have happened a long yeah. fucking yeah. time ago. It should ago. have happened instead of Captain Marvel. Yeah, I'm still sure. very convinced. It should have that. happened after, before or after the first Avengers movie. Well, like this happen- exact it, movie. It happens come between out. Civil and Infinity War, yeah, so they would have had time. It could have come out when Captain Marvel came out, and would have made sense. Like. You know, timeline wise. Yeah, they, that, that should have been her second movie. and I mean, another was, one earlier. It was clear with Endgame that they didn't need Captain Marvel. Yeah, no, didn't need her at all. Honestly, I wish that movie was never made yet. But I, I don't know. Black I don't know. I honestly, I, 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 I feel Captain Marvel got more hate than it deserved, and I think no, you know, no, no, it deserved what it got. No, yeah. but I, I think the biggest problem with Captain Marvel was Brie Larson and the writing. That's why it deserved what it got. Yeah, they put the wrong person in the role. Yeah, it well, just it was the wrong time for it. It should have been the. Main movie coming out of Endgame. I like, don't think I don't it. think it should have been the movie before Endgame. Yeah, it should have. No, been. I think I, she I mean, should have been talk released. About all yeah. of that stuff, but, but we'll I think about that I think Black it. Widow. I'm <laughs> looking forward to it because Taskmaster is a really cool villain, and like he, there's a thing with Taskmaster. He can co- he can emulate anyone's fighting style except one guy. Guess who that is? Deadpool. Superman. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, technically, universe. you are right, but <laughs> yes. Uh, excuse me, they come in different universes. <laughs> That's why you can't do that, okay? What the hell? Okay, thanks, young. Virgin. <laughs> Matt you Damon. You never touch a woman. Well, pretty obvious. Matt Damon. Um, uh, but Deadpool, because yeah. Deadpool is just extremely unpredictable. Yeah. But Taskmaster is known to emulate fighting styles, and he's a really cool villain. I've, I like the idea that a lot of people have been guessing that Taskmaster is actually going to be a woman in this one. Because a lot of people thought it was going to be Rachel Wise or whatever. Are you? That are you? Is. But mm. then they show up the, on the newest like, trailer. Because there's the there's the two other women that are there at the table. Well, it looks one like of them is going to end up being. Yeah, Task they thought Master. it was going to be Rachel Wise. Well, the no, new trailer uh, had Taskmaster and her on the screen. At the well, same there's time, a. This, but everyone's like, Marvel, are you fucking no, with no, us? Sorry, again? is Rachel Wise the one that people are assuming is going to be the next Black Widow? No, no uh, she's Yelena. The older, okay, she's the Yel- older one. The, I, I don't, I don't she's the girl who played Paige the in the that mummy. movie that came out this year. The Mummy. You haven't seen the uh, Mummy. No. You haven't seen the Mummy. No. You should see the Mummy. Her the the girl's last name last name is Pugue okay. or Pew. Whatever. Um uh, or Pugue. Puff. Uh, but Puppy. this. Correct, it, correcting me could be done when we don't have ten minutes left in the show. For yes. what I think <laughs> is like she's gonna be she's gonna be the new Black Widow in the Avengers. Yeah. Because Black Widow is more of a title than a character. But also remember, Marvel has pulled a lot of fast ones. We thought, you know, yeah. what was the fucking was the not the Mandalorian in fucking Iron Man three? What was the the Mandarin? Mandarin. Mandarin. And he ended the up being nobody. <laughs> this is yeah. the way. He ended up being just. He ended up being like basically Russell Brand essentially. <laughs> he was. That's what Ben. ben he was said. Gandhi. That's ben Kinsley what, as he, he, Russell Brand. He basically as, turns into uh, Russell Brand when he reveals that he's not actually a villain. It was the, amazing. The villain was Gandhi. Yeah, literally, he, he would play Gandhi in the Gandhi movies. Uh, otherwise, it. quickly things that are on the list: uh, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four. I'm yeah. looking really forward to it. I except, am not shocked by this at all. Uh, but except for the winged costume, because I think it looks ridiculous. Well, it's, it's the eighties. It's the eighties. Yeah, but you it's, watch Glow, you know what ridiculousness yeah. looks like. Yeah. yeah, but this isn't supposed to be like it's it's nineteen eighty four. It's not. That's it's exactly not supposed to be a movie. Like. Ba- like Produ- produced in the 80s it's supposed to be a movie based in the 80s so it's gonna yeah, be, so everybody has to look, look like they're in the 80s <laughs> yeah but it's too ridiculous though no that's how no, it, no, that, is the that 80s. makes sense and i most. actually Have um seen the 80s <laughs> yeah. so the guy who plays uh pa- um maxwell lord pedro pascal who played obrin in game of thrones i uh, apparently um maxwell lord has some um, psychological powers so this could be the explanation of Street I mean, Trevor cool. being resurrected, yeah. because it's it doesn't make any sense. It's like we saw him fucking blow up in Wonder Woman, and it's like 
how the fuck is he back? But now, and many many years later, and not exactly, and yeah. not and not age much. He's a ghost. Because Wonder Woman one was based in World War One, which was nineteen seventeen. No pun intended, because that's the movie that fucking came out this year, uh, last year, and with Pedro Pascal being like a guy who can manipulate someone's mind and Steve Trevor is showing that he didn't age much in fucking like 70 years. Okay, Adam, go ahead. What were you <laughs> Don't care. 80s look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. I so, was waiting. so yeah, so I, and I think it's kind of cool. Like, I don't know. I, I kind of enjoyed like her doing the Spider-Man swing with her lasso. I don't know. I just thought it was like kind of, that cool movie's stuff. not on my list, but I will definitely see it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, quickly the before and, I get and three, honestly, the uh, sorry, my for me also the three best things right now about the DCEU are Marco Robbie as Harley Quinn, Gal as uh, Ghetto as Wonder Woman, and, and Hen- Robert Pattinson as Batman. No, honestly, I think Hen- uh, <laughs> I, not, no, I, don't I, don't fucking start doing no. to a side. We don't have time for, for and things. Henry Cavill as Superman. That's a fucking bullshit lie. No, Henry Henry just doesn't. Henry is a good Superman. He just doesn't have the fucking good people behind him for that well then i couldn't tell if he's a good superhero. honestly i think he's a guy i i would love to have a he's beer a good with witcher him. i can tell you that much no, he's a I, fantastic witcher no That's i so- honestly think i he's a guy we could have a beer with and be like you're a fucking bro he, he only is plays a bro. pc i don't know if you guys are good he's a bro he, have to he, talk you, to me right, you would him. hang out with him <laughs> fuck him go ahead the master race. next one uh quickly couple two ones that are not nearly as big on our radar but they are things obviously the eternals but same thing like guardians we don't really know what we're walking into yeah uh, Venom 2 just yep. because I'm praying to God oh that's coming out this year Woody yeah. Harrelson is Carnage I need to just fucking yep. see this it's shit. gonna be Carnage um, a couple other small ones Bill and Ted Face the Music is potentially this year right oh yes that which that could be good or could be oh, really wait. bad uh, yeah, actually, you know what it's really bad it's gonna because be that's kind of Bill and Ted it's you know what um, I will full disclosure I've never seen any of the movies we, should, uh, we need to we sit down and watch him with that that should be our sit down we have plenty of time August is is when that movie comes out potentially are we gonna play Madden which one? Oh, with yeah. Monster Hunter. With, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm excited for that. First, I've never played a movie. Well, I, I told him if he wants to see Dino Crisis the movie, that might be his best bet. That's as close there, as we get I, now. I don't know. There's a thing called Jurassic Park, which was pretty similar. Yeah, but it's literally made by the company that made Dino yeah, Crisis. Yeah, it's Capcom. Okay, so we're going to watch Monster Hunter. <laughs> and also, uh, while they are bad movies in general, they're just... They're I mean, so, it's Mila Jovovich, so it's probably going to be a bad action movie, but okay. at least it'll be a fun yeah, action movie. Uh, to it's quote, actually going to just suck balls. To quote well, Shaq. video game movies, so there's a 99.9% yeah. chance and it's going like to suck balls. It's like someone okay, from now so, back I mean, in Detective time Pikachu or something. is still the only thing right now that is like, okay, that's actually good. That was a really to good quote, movie. Um, well, in the original Mortal Kombat, but it's a different kind of good. To quote Shaq, well, it's going to be hard awful But oh. hard awful in a good way. Yeah, I mean, the same could also be said about the new Ghostbusters when that comes out in July. That no, I that's going to be a good movie. I don't I, know. I don't remember because no, no, that's on my list. No, no but, but remember this. Ghostbusters 2 is really not that good. But Jason Reitman's a great fucking that director. Mean shit. Sometimes there are just movies that you can only have lightning in a bottle once. That's the risk you take. Okay. And because there's been Fair no enough. good Ghostbusters since the original, it's tough. I think that this I one think will be a I, I actually yeah. like Ghostbusters 2, though. I well, like it. To cr- like it's to, not a great to sequel. most fans, like they won't even touch the second one in comparison yeah. to the first one. The first one is okay, definitely that's a that's worse than fucking Star Wars fans who won't touch anything after fucking Return uh, Empire Strikes Back. The last no, thing, Return of the Jedi still. The good. last thing on my list, anyway, that's uh, actually in a recency bias because kind of there, but I'm really fucking excited to see Morbius all of a sudden. Yes, oh uh, yeah, yeah, that was a great trailer, and also Morbius. Also, I have a, I love Morbi- Morbius and like the old cartoons. Oh, yeah, he was a cool he character. Was a cool yeah, I like. He him. was a really cool character. Um, sorry, Chris, do you have well, any? Okay, like, do you got a big one left? Because we basically got like five minutes. Plus. Um, so the ones that haven't been mentioned, um, Top nope. Gun Two. Yeah. I'm surprisingly. Really I excited have for never that. seen Top Gun. Okay, wow. Oh my god, there's so many things that we have to all watch together. Yes, Top Gun is amazing. Top Gun Two looks amazing. I just want to watch it. It's gonna be. We cool. have a lot of watch alongs to record all of this. Yes, we do. I think that's a good <laughs> idea. Um, I don't know how neither of you said the new James Bond movie. Uh, I honestly, I, I don't I, know if I care enough about Bond anymore. What the hell, fucking hell no! I'm James excited because I don't care about the like the Bond franchise. I'm just kind of done with the serious ones. I want to go back to the old. Oh, to like the ones. slightly more. No, I honestly, I I love the Daniel Craig take on it, where he is just a fucking cold-hearted motherfucker. I do miss the campy, just normal James. Or Bond. if no. you're not gonna give me those movies back, at least fucking let's make a good Bond game again. Fuck, we, yes. that's another thing. Yes. Yeah, but. The, 
They tried to do the GoldenEye remake with Daniel Craig. No, 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 no. No, you get somebody that's actually good at making video games make a fucking make a, make a game. Yeah. Get the guys who do Titanfall to make a Bond game. Respawn. Yeah. They're, they're the people that did the new Star Wars game, and that's probably why it's really good. That's what I mean. But they I mean, hey, that is they? trustworthy. Um, it's Respawn. <laughs> Just it's so. Respawn. Um, the but the well, last movie. Give, I have? What's he gonna give it to? Activision. Ugh. The last movie I have, which is actually the one I'm most excited for, for some reason, probably just because it's an original film and it's not just like a. Let's hear this. Uh, Tenet, or whatever that. Oh is. Nolan, yes, the, is that the Nolan? The yeah. Nolan? Yes, that it one like I can't. They're fucking with time, where they're moving normal in time, but other things are moving back in time, or I don't know what the. Fuck I don't is going know on. because so there's what literally Doctor Strange two might be next. It year. It looks like Doctor Strange, but a Nolan film it, with the new Batman. This, um, <laughs> that okay, so that's what I want to see because. Frankly, um, okay, so there's a movie that came out this year called The Lighthouse with Robert Pattinson. Apparently, it's a really good movie. Apparently, it's a, it's a, yeah, like yeah. I said, it's a great movie. Yeah. And he is a great actor. Yeah. So I want to see. That's what we yeah. said with the Batman. It's like, look, he's going to be great as He's going to be great as Batman. It sounds so stupid that it should work. No, he's going to be great as Batman. No, he's, he's going to be fucking great. But the thing is, the problem is, though, we know him as fucking sparkling vampire. I don't know him as that Again. anymore. Two minutes yeah. left. We don't have time yeah. for that but many Tenet, asides. I want to see it. It looks really, really good. I don't remember when it comes out, but I'm assuming we're going to see it. I feel like Adam's going to come. The reason we're rushing this is because we're going to go see Bad Boys 2. So, or Bad, Bad Boys, Boys 3. Uh, three bad Boys 3, Bad Boys and 4, I mean, I go Life. See, I go see Bad Boys 2 again. If they're making theaters, Bad Boys 4, why is it not called Bad Boys 4 Life? Why wasn't that the fourth one and then make it something else? I don't know. Else? Because of reasons. God, it's going to be Batman, uh, Bad Boys. Bad Boys uh, 2. Bad Chris, Boys for Life. Bad what Boys you gonna do? Although what most, you gonna do? Most importantly, Ugh. you guys are forgetting. It's still listed. I don't think it's gonna happen at this time. But don't forget the biggest movie that could happen this this year. What? Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I don't. Right know. now, it's not there's happening. A Green Lantern listed for the 19th no. of July. I want to see June, Tenet and Sonic and everything else. Oh, all the Marvel movies. Uh, <sighs> I think we actually were able to finish everything on time today. No, we, we just no, had we to did. rush. No, the last we did. We didn't finish shit on time. We talked about Resident Evil for 20 minutes. Yeah. And then and then fucking had to put the gas down. Stars. Podcast over.